Hello cozy friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice and I like to create lifestyle inspired content. If you are new here, I would love if you guys could become a cozy friend by subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload. Also, if you're interested in some extra content, be sure to check out my Instagram, which is Rose Latte Girl. Alright guys, so without further ado, we're going to jump right into the video today. So the first thing that I did with my sketchbook here was lay down some washi tape, and I actually got this washi tape from a subscription box for Archer and Olive, so I don't actually think you can purchase this one, I think you actually needed to get it in the box. However, Archer and Olive um, washi tape is some of my favorite washi tape, so if you're thinking about getting some, I would just go ahead and do so. Anyway, this is going to be my first time trying to work with paint, so bear with me. I know there might be a lot of mistakes, but I am learning and I'm just really inspired lately and wanted to do something more artistic and something super different. For my paint today, I will be using the Himi gouache paint. I have been seeing this everywhere and quite honestly, I've heard nothing but really good reviews from it, especially if you're a beginner, they say it's perfect and I really wanted to give it a try. So I have the Himi paints and all I really did here was just do a light sketch of what I was trying to paint today. Now, I was inspired by the most random thing. Um, I was hanging out with my mom the other day and we went for a drive to go get some Starbucks and we went down this road that we always go down, but we happened to go down it during like sunset and I really loved all the colors. I loved how the sky looked, so I took a picture randomly and said, you know what? One day I'm going to paint this and that day's today. So I'm just taking a little bit of white and a little bit of black and I'm just kind of mixing that together to try and recreate the sky. Um, as you can see in the picture, the sky was obviously getting dark because the sun was going down. So I really did try my best to try and mimic that. And like I said, you might see some mistakes here and there, but I was actually really excited to make these mistakes and see them later on because now I look back and I can kind of see where I could have changed certain colors or done something differently and that's what I have to say I really love about art and what I really love about recording myself doing these things is I can go back later and say wow I've really transformed my art or my writing or whatever it may be since then and it's because of moments like this in this learning process that I'm really giving myself all that I can to get better at whatever task it is or whatever hobby it is and I, I think that's pretty amazing. Um, all I'm doing here now is kind of going back in and blending the colors and I did it my own way. I have been trying my best to sit down and I watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos to try and teach myself and when I have classes available at my local Samflex, I will most definitely be taking some classes because I really enjoy this process of painting and for the longest time I always wanted to paint but kind of felt like I couldn't because I thought well that's for super talented people <laughs> and I sat down and just ripped it off like a band-aid and kind of fell in love with the fact that I can create something with paint and that was just truly inspiring. I had done the same thing with my bullet journaling. I had said, I can't do that, I'm not that creative, but a year later, or two years at this point, I'm here on my second year of bullet journaling, and I can see just how much my art has transformed on paper itself. So it's pretty inspiring if you sit down and think about it. If there's something that you've had on your heart that you've wanted to do or you've wanted to accomplish, or you wanted to start, I say just rip it off like a band-aid because you're going to keep putting it off um, for a Monday and say, I will do that on Monday, like that saying goes, and you're going to keep putting it off and you might never get to do it. And I didn't want that to be me, so I ripped it off like a band-aid, so to speak, as I keep saying. Anyway, I wanted to add the trees as um, I went further into the painting, and I kind of did the stippling effect with my fan brush and I think it made it look really really cool to be honest and I really love how it came out.
Um, with this narration, guys, I truly did not want to give instruction because I'm not um, well versed in painting. I kind of am just doing it for fun to learn and I really want to take you guys along that journey with me. So if you guys are trying to learn how to paint or want to start painting, then this is something we can do together. I am your internet bestie here and I really want to encourage you guys to do stuff that you want to do, stuff that's going to inspire you. And that's really what I'm here for. My channel here is to encourage you to live your best life in the most positive way, so to speak. And I feel like, for me personally, painting is giving me that relaxation time that I need. Because I take my time thinking about what am I going to do next, what colors am I adding. And it's really exciting. And I really want you all to be able to experience that and the beauty of that. So as you can see, completely transformed. I made it a snowy scene and I gave it purple mountain majesty background. And I am now changing what was supposed to be the road into a river. And I tried my best to kind of transform it since it was painted black at first. And with gouache paint, it can be very difficult, I've come to understand, to kind of transform the tone of it, especially if you started off with such a dark color as the base. But I did try my best to figure out a way to kind of brighten it and to give it more dimension to make it look like water. And I kind of feel as a beginner, I didn't do half bad.